Hello and welcome to the Mushroom Pocket Embroidery Tutorial. If you purchase my pattern through Etsy, you'll have a few options for how to transfer it onto your garment. The method I'm using here is Water Soluble Stabilizer. So this paper goes directly into your printer and you can print the pattern out and cut it out as I'm doing and then stick it directly onto your fabric. If you don't have stabilizer paper, you can try doing a light transfer method with a screen like an iPad or a large cell phone, or you can just try drawing out the pattern freehand. Try to leave about one centimeter of negative space around the pattern. This will allow you to have a little more room when you stitch. These smaller pieces will go onto the actual pocket. Position your garment on a flat surface and smooth out the fabric. You'll find the edge of your um, sticker and peel it off, the mesh part, and then tuck it slightly under your pocket and press it down really well onto the fabric. Throughout the project, you'll have to stick it down a few times. The edges do sort of tend to pop up a little bit. For the smaller pieces of the pattern, those will go directly onto the pocket. Try not to put them too, too close to either side of the pocket. Um, this way you'll have enough room to maneuver underneath when you're doing your stitches. We're gonna start with DMC 3362. You're gonna take one strand of floss, thread the needle, Pull it so that both ends are equal and tie a double knot. If you're working with pants or shorts, open up the fly. This will give you more room um, at the waist of the pants to maneuver. And we're actually going to be flipping it upside down and working with it upside down for this project. If you're using a shirt, you probably won't need to do this. So take your threaded needle and come up through the underside of the fabric on the second little plant there. Pull it all the way through and then do about a one centimeter stitch. Push your needle through and pull it from the underside. You're gonna come back up through the fabric about a stitch length ahead. Pull your needle through and then you're gonna come back down going through the end of the previous stitch. This is called back stitch. Continue to do this until you've filled in the full stem of that first plant. You should now have something that looks like this. On the underside of your fabric, when you're finished with a particular thread, leave yourself enough room so that you can tie a secure double knot. Trim away excess floss. Next, you're gonna be using fishbone stitch to fill in the leaves. You're using the same amount of floss and the same color. Come down about halfway down the length of one leaf and pull your stitch through. Um, you can go up on either side now. You're just gonna go up and do the exact same stitch, but it should cross over ever so slightly the tail end of that first stitch. And then pop up to the opposite side and do the same thing and you're just gonna repeat that process of going side to side until the full shape of the leaf is filled in. Fill in all the leaves the same way. You're going to repeat the same process on the pocket here for this little plant, as well as over here. 
Stitching on the pocket can be a little tricky as you're a little more limited in terms of space, but it's the exact same process, starting from underneath and doing your back stitch to fill in that stem. and then the fishbone stitch for the leaves. You should now have something that looks like this. Next, you're gonna be using DMC 3011, using one strand again, doubled over and tied in a double knot. Start at the bottom of this stem and work your way up using back stitch. And just like before, you'll use fishbone stitch to fill in the leaves. For the petals on this flower, we'll be using DMC 3041, all six strands doubled over and tied in a knot. Coming up through the underside at any petal, pull your floss all the way through and do the stitch length of the petal down. This is called straight stitch. You may find you'll need to switch to a larger size needle for this, a size one or three should have a large enough eye for you to use all six strands of floss doubled over. And just continue to do this until you've filled in all of the petals on this flower. Next, you'll be using DMC 781, one strand of floss doubled over and tied in a double knot. Come up through the underside of the fabric in the middle of one of your flowers and pull your floss all the way through. You'll be making a French knot in the middle of each flower. Use your non-dominant hand to pull the floss and then wrap the needle once, twice, and hold it tight. Go back down to the fabric right beside where you came up, keeping that tightness all the way through while you pull down. You'll find around the seams of your garment that it's a little bit difficult to push the needle through. Um, for this reason, a thimble might be of good use to you for this project. Next, we'll be working on the daisies using DMC 3053, one strand of floss, doubled over, and starting with just that back stitch again to fill in the stem and our fishbone stitch for the leaves. For the petals, you'll be using DMC Blanc, six strands doubled over, coming up through the bottom of one of the petals and just doing a straight stitch and repeating the process for both flowers. For the middles of the daisies, you're gonna be using DMC 781 again, just one strand doubled over. And again, we're doing that French knot stitch. We're gonna do a cluster of about five of them to make up the daisy center. Once you've done that, you're going to be filling in the little um, 
plant on the pocket here using DMC 3053 again. Same amount of floss for back stitch and fishbone stitch. For the remaining plants, you're going to be using DMC 895 one strand floss doubled over and tied in a knot. And you're going to be using back stitch for all the stems and fishbone stitch for all the leaves. So that's all of these guys here. Once that's done, you're using DMC 519, six strands of floss doubled over and tied in a knot. And you'll be just stitching with straight stitch um, using little V shapes to fill in the petals of these flowers. Once all the petals are filled in, you're going to be using DMC 747, same amount of floss, six strands doubled over, and you're just filling in that one little petal on, in the middle of each flower using straight stitch. And once that's finished, you'll be filling in the petals of that last little flower on the pocket using DMC 223, six strands of floss doubled over. And again, you're using straight stitch and just making those little V shapes. Now that that's done, you're gonna be focusing on the mushrooms, starting with the stem. Using DMC 05, one strand of floss doubled over, Come up through the bottom of the stem and you're going to be using back stitch to work your way up the stem and we're just going to be doing rows of back stitch until we've worked our way all the way across the stem sorry about my filming here i didn't know that i wasn't very centered So once you've done that on both stems, you can fill in the little upper stem bit using DMC 07, same amount of floss, one strand doubled over. And for this, you're just gonna fill it in using straight stitch and just working your way across. I also use DMC 07 and straight stitch to do that little under part of the second mushroom. Next you're going to do the little spots on the mushrooms using DMC Blanc, one strand of floss doubled over, and you're just going to fill in each little shape, um, each little circular shape using straight stitch. Once you finish that for both mushrooms, you're gonna to switch to DMC 919, one strand of floss doubled over and tied. And you're gonna be filling in the rest of the mushroom essentially um, using straight stitch. Um, it might help you to kind of go around using back stitch to make a border of the mushroom first if you want. Um, but yeah, just sort of take your time filling in the whole mushroom. Um, this was the easiest way to do it so that you could actually follow along with the little spots on the mushroom. If we filled it all in beforehand, it would be hard to uh, see where those, those little spots went. So just take your time filling it in, kind of going in between um, each little spot.
And when you finish, you should have something like this. So last but not least, this little B um, to do this, we're using DMC 310, which is black. We're using one strand of floss doubled over. We're just gonna come up and add his little stripes using straight stitch. And one little straight stitch for his head. We'll use one strand of DMC 3820 for the three yellow stripes, and again, we're using straight stitch. And for the wings, we'll use DMC 747 again, six strands doubled over, and just two straight stitches to fill in those wings and then you're done so congratulations on being done with the stitching part and now it's time to wash off the stabilizer so to do this run your garment under lukewarm water you want to really rub at all the little sections getting in all the nooks and crannies as the stabilizer starts to dissolve. You'll want to repeat this process a few times as just with one wash, um, I find that your garment can dry a little bit stiff. So you'll really want to rub it a few times, um, even submerging it in the water if you can. And then when you're finished, just take it out and hang it to dry. Thank you so much for following along with this pattern and I hope you enjoyed working on your own garment if you haven't purchased this pattern and you're interested, you can find it in my Etsy shop, which is linked at the bottom of this video.